today we have a yoga flow specifically designed to help create balance and harmony within the body and mind. So we start seated on the heels with the knees slightly apart, left hand on the belly, right hand on the chest. We'll just begin by taking some long deep breaths, noticing as the breath comes in through the nose the chest begins to rise and the belly begins to inflate. From there, just resting the hands on the knees, readjusting the knees so that they're out a little bit wider to stretch into the hips. Beginning with a nice long spine, hands resting on the knees. Inhale, rise the arms above the head. Exhale, take them back down. Inhale, reach them up, look up as you reach. And exhale, chin to chest, hands come down. Inhale again to reach, stretching through the sides of the body. Exhale, placing the hands down. Adjusting the body again, we're going to come into toe squat. So we're just warming up through the toes. It can be quite an intense posture. So in order to take our mind off it, we're going to introduce some upper body movement. Again, inhale, rising the arms up. Exhale, reaching behind, interlacing the fingers, drawing the shoulders together and just lifting the chin up towards the ceiling or the sky. Taking a few breaths here, and then again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, interlacing the hands behind, draw the shoulders together. Try to keep your focus on the breath, away from any uncomfortable sensations through the feet. One more time, inhale, reach, exhale, interlace the hands. Chin is ever so slightly away from the chest. Hands come down onto the mat and just release the feet and the toes, rotating the ankles. And then bring yourself to all fours. Extend your right leg back and on the inhale, draw the knee into the chest. Exhale, extend. Inhale, contract through the abdominals as the knee comes into the chest. And then exhale, extend. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale to extend. Place the knee down. Take the left leg back. Inhale, knee into the chest. Exhale, extend the leg back and straight. Inhale. Exhale, rounding through the spine as you draw the knee into the chest. And straightening as you release the leg back. Moving back to all fours and then pushing back to a downward facing dog. Bending the knees from left to right. Realigning, readjusting. Hands a shoulder width distance, feet hip width distance. Warming up through the shoulders now. Take the left hand to the outside of the right ankle. Look under the right shoulder. Three-legged dog. Breathe here. Release that left hand back down. Take the right hand to the outside of the left leg. Look under the left shoulder. And breathe here. Placing most of your weight through the left side of the body. Resume your down dog. Rise the right leg up into the air. Step it forward and drop the left knee down. Slide the left knee back to stretch into the hip flexor and then start to push the hand on the front knee to open out through the front hip flexor. Inhaling as you open, exhaling, bring it around in a circle. I'm just doing that a few times, coming back to all fours, then to your downward dog, same on the other side. Rura left leg lifts up, step it forward, drop the right knee down, sliding the right knee back and then using that left hand to push on the left knee to open out through the front hip flexor. Going around in a circular motion to help iron out through any kinks and then stepping back to your all fours, downward dog. And just taking a breath here, rising to the tops of the toes, bending the knees, hopping both feet forward, inhaling to a halfway lift, exhale we fold, Inhale, rise all the way up, hands to prayer, and down into the heart center. Stepping the feet to hip width distance, inhale, rise the arms, exhale, fold forward. Take a hold of the back of the legs and hug the upper body in towards the thighs. From here, take the hands back down, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, take a bind with the big toes and pull the upper body in towards the thighs again. The elbows will flare out to the side. It's quite hard to see from the picture here, but if you were looking from front on, you'd see that there'd be a bend in the elbows. 
and the greater the bend, perhaps showing the greater flexibility you have. From there, release the bind and take both hands under the feet with the palms facing up. So we're applying pressure through the feet down into the hands. Again, the elbows flowing out to the side and just breathe into the backs of the legs, opening up the space there. Inhale to a halfway lift, release the hands onto the hips and with a flat back, rise the body all the way up to standing. Roll the shoulders up, back and round. Step to the top of the mat, bring the hands to prayer. Big step back with your right foot. Keep a bend in that front leg. Reach forward, keep both legs straight and move into your triangle pose. Look up to the top hand. And try and make sure that your bottom shoulder and your front hip are stacked. Rise up, turn the toes, other side. Take a bend, straighten, reach forward. Take that front hand onto the shin and look up to the ceiling again. Top hand reaching high up into the air. Take a few breaths here. On the exhale, look down at the foot. Rise the arms back to a T position. Exhale, turn the feet. Bend into that front leg. Forearm comes to rest. Reach the top arm up and over. Try not to collapse through the chest. You can hold there if you want to take a little deeper. Take that left arm to the inside of the front leg. If you're taking the hand down again, make sure you're not collapsing. Look down to the foot, come back to a T position as you rise. Turn the feet, exhale, bend the front leg. Forearm comes to rest and reach the top arm up and over. Important thing here, as with the other side, keep that chest open whether you're staying on the quadricep or if you'll bring that front hand down to the inside of the foot. On the exhale look down at the feet, rise the arms to a T position. Walk the feet in towards each other, roll the shoulders back, hands to the hips with a flat back, dive the body forward. Take the hands down onto the mat and slowly walk the feet out as far as you can to stretch deep towards the inside of the thighs. Bending the elbows back, seeing if you can start to work both hands flat down onto the mat. You may not be there yet, it may just be the fingertips. If that's the case, that's fine. Just keep breathing into it, finding the space through the backs of the legs, keeping the feet down. On the inhale, pull to a halfway lift, flat back. Start to walk the feet in, take the hands to the hips and inhale, rise back to standing. Interlace the hands behind you, exhale, fold the body forward and down. It's a really nice opening through the chest and the shoulders here. See if maybe one day, I'm pretty far away from this, if you can get your hands down onto the mat. Continue to breathe here. On the next inhale, begin to rise the body all the way up. Release the hands, place them onto the hips. Walk the feet in, bend the back leg and step to the top of the mat. Bring the hands to prayer. Inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, fold forward, bring the head into the knees. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, step to all fours. On the inhale, dip the spine, head looks up. Exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, dipping the spine, head looks up. Exhale, rounding chin to chest. Inhale, exhale, tuck the toes, come to your downward facing dog, step the feet together, rise high onto the tops of the toes on the inhale, come to high plank, exhale back to down dog, inhale forward to your high plank, exhale to your down dog, and again, exhale back, step the feet to hip width distance, Roll over into a side plank, reach the right arm up into the air and then take it back down to your high plank, straight over into your side plank again, left arm reaches. And then back to high plank. Drop down onto the knees, take the knees to the outer edges of the mat and sit into a wide knee child's pose. And just use these next three to four breaths to bring the focus back on to the breathing and the sensations in the body. Inhale, rising back up to a downward facing dog. Rise high onto the tops of the toes. Bend the knees, step both feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rise the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Step the feet to hip width distance. Take the hands onto the hips. Swan, dive the body forward. 
Reach the right arm down, reach the left arm up, bending the right knee. Left knee bends, left arm down, right arm up. And continue to do this a few more times. Bending the knee of the hand that's down on the ground and looking up to the hand that's in the air. Step yourself back to a downward dog, then pull forward to a high plank into Chaturanga. And then up dog, push back to your downward facing dog. Bending the knees from left to right. Rise the right leg up, step it forward, swivel the left heel down, bring yourself to a warrior one. Bring the hands to prayer position into crescent lunge, twist that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Look back to that right elbow, keep that back leg straight if you can. To go even further into this twist, place the left hand down to the outside of the front leg and reach the right arm up if you can. Send your gaze up to that top hand for even harder work. Take that hand down, resume your crescent lunge, then to your warrior one. Hands down, step through plank, chaturanga, up dog, and into your downward facing dog, taking a few breaths, rising the left leg up, stepping to a warrior one. Swivel the back heel up to a crescent lunge, bring the hands to prayer, and then twist that right elbow to the outside of the left leg, look back. To the left elbow. Take the right hand down onto the mat and reach the left arm up. Continue to breathe here in this strong twist. Take that top hand down, resume crescent lunge, rise to warrior one, hands down, step to plank, down onto the knees and push back into a child's pose. And again, give yourself a few breaths here. Rise yourself up to all fours and then onto the knees. Take the hands onto the hips and reach back to take a hold of the heels, opening out through the chest, dropping the head back in towards the neck. Breathing here in your camel, finding that space through the front body. Take both hands back onto the hips, moving into a child's pose again as your counter pose just to release any tension through the low back. Inhale, rise back up, and then bring yourself to a seated position, shuffling the body forward. Coming down to lying, vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling down, hugging the knees into the chest, rolling the body around in one direction, and then in the other direction. Coming into happy baby now, bringing the legs back, taking a hold of the inside of the feet, using the strength through the arms to bring the knees towards the outsides of the body, till one day you can get those knees all the way down and onto the mat. You're using your arms to see how much of an opening you can get through the hips here in this happy baby. And again, just continue to breathe before gently releasing, bringing the soles of the feet together and moving into a lying butterfly, placing both hands onto the belly, just taking a few nourishing breaths here, releasing any tension through the hips, allowing the muscles to be soft. Gently start to bring the knees up and together and walk the heels as close to the hips as you can. Moving into a hip bridge on the inhale, rise the hips all the way up. Start to walk the shoulders in towards each other, interlace the hands and see if you can lift a little bit higher. Try to relax through the glutes here, activating more into the hamstrings to so the back of the legs and see what a difference that can do. Gently walk the shoulders out and away and vertebrae by vertebrae, peeling the hips down. Placing the hands on the belly and just taking a few deep breaths again. Walking the feet out to the outer edges of the mat and allowing the knees to fall in towards each other so that you can truly let go. And 
And as you lie here, just let the mind be still. Let the body be heavy. And just allow yourself one more deep breath before gently opening the eyes and bringing yourself up to seated. Thank you again for joining me. If you got through to the end of this video, really well done. Hopefully you're starting to see a difference in the body and the mind with regular practice. Please do like the videos and subscribe. Always feeling free to let me know what content you'd like to see. Thanks again. Bye-bye.